my name is Kayla Katz and I'm very happy you've come to visit with me today. Today we're going to do a vlog and just talk about real life and second life. Today let's start with what's really been like puzzling me lately and that is YouTube algorithm. I don't understand it. I love second life. So I'm doing a once a year, <laughs> no, <laughs> one video a week, one year project just to try it out. I've been doing this one video a week since May 25th and today is August 20th. So I've got a few videos out but I started looking at how I get viewers. I started looking at what YouTube was telling me that it was doing. I don't understand it. It's hilarious. Let's start with one of my shorts called Where Would You Hang Out With a Werewolf? It's from my last vlog where I talk about Patricia Briggs' really cool urban fantasy series. So to illustrate what I was talking about, I scouted a location in Second Life in a rainy wood like you would find in Northwest United States with a human, which was me, and a big white wolf to represent Adam the werewolf. And that was my short. That's it. Well, I got some views. You two showed me the search terms that got me a few views. And one of them was werewolf, which totally made sense to me. And another one was wolf rain, which I really liked a lot. That's a really cool anime. If you haven't seen it, um, I really recommend it. Here's where it gets weird. The third one that first showed up was Hoak Toa Interview. So that one I just thought, oh, maybe there's a new K-pop person. And they interviewed them. And I didn't think anything about it. And then a couple of days later, I was thinking about doing a dance video. So I thought, okay, I'm going to look up this walk person. Walk to. And, you know, see what kind of music they make. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> it's not a person. <laughs> it's about spitting on a guy's thingy. <laughs> And some people liked it. <laughs> I'm sorry. And crack me up. It's about spitting. What does that have to do with my werewolf? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I don't get it. <laughs> I got a view from it, which made me happy, but I don't understand it. <laughs> so this is what I mean about me thinking YouTube is kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> okay, so I thought you might be interested. These are the search terms that successfully resulted in my getting a view. Now there may be other search terms, but they only showed me the ones that got a view. And I realize you're thinking, well, she, my top two, I got three views each, Werewolf and Wolf Rain. And I know you're thinking, geez, that's not a lot. And all my others only got one view. I'm not a micro niche. I'm not a micro micro niche. I'm a teensy eensy weensy niche. Since I started this project in May, I've been getting anywhere from 25 to 100 views per video, which to me is really, really good. So if you're looking at, you know, 25 views, then all these little ones, they add up. So it makes a difference. And it makes a difference if the view actually results in a view. So for example, the Hoak Twa, which we were talking about. This is a 30 second video, so it's short anyways. They only watch six seconds and they quit because you know nobody was spitting, so they weren't interested. And then Second Life, which it shows a scene in Second Life, they watched 110%. That means they watched the whole thing through and then they watched it a little bit more. Michael Jackson, they watched 100%. And I'm thinking with Michael Jackson, it's from the Thriller song, you know, because um, even though that's a zombie song, that's horror movie and people think of werewolves as horror movies. And then the Beverly Halls also got over 100%. I don't know who the Beverly Halls is. I'm going to have to take a look at that one. A lot of these actually do make sense. You know, like Gray still plays. He does games. 
and then anything with werewolf michael jackson scary scary videos skinwalkers so those all make sense i don't know why how to use a bait caster mostly because i don't know what a bait caster is i think it's maybe for fishing i do know mike tyson is a boxer so this is a fight jake paul and mike tyson but you can see when they clicked on that one they weren't interested five seconds and they're out of there because you know it's got nothing to do with boxing or fighting so these are the search terms that netted a view so this to me is like really interesting how does YouTube serve up videos that people search for and I'm beginning to think they do some of them that fit the term that you're searching for for example werewolf right but they also do some randomly just to kind of catch people unexpectedly just to see if there's a different audience for your video I don't know for sure I'm thinking it because otherwise a lot of this doesn't really make sense to me why would they show it unless maybe Mike Tyson or Jake Paul have a nickname of werewolf but I don't think so I've never heard it so anyways I thought you might be interested in seeing the other search terms this is you know I'm curious this is interesting to me I'd always assumed that when you did a search it'd be like Google and you get what you're asking for but I think YouTube works differently than Google even though they're owned by Google I'm not sure I'll probably find out over time although I shouldn't be looking at this so much because I got to go edit a video <laughs> Looking at stats is not really helping me edit a video. <laughs> it's a form of procrastination, <laughs> which I'm really, really, really good at. <laughs> but this is interesting to me. So I, I don't know. I just thought other people might be interested too. Plus, I think it's crazy. I'm still trying to figure out <laughs> why spitting <laughs> is so funny to me. <laughs> So I kind of ran on about this a little longer than I expected, so I guess my whole vlog is going to be about this. I was going to do Second Life and Real Life, but I think I mixed them up together because search terms and stuff, they affect us Second Life YouTubers. It's important for us to show up when someone searches for Second Life. You know, it's nice if I show up for Werewolf, but I would really like to show up on Second Life searches too. It's very hard to get discovered in the beginning so you kind of can't think about it. You just have to do what you're gonna do otherwise it'll make you crazy <laughs> which I'm already crazy. So and out of my own curiosity if you you know post videos sometimes what is the funniest mismatch between your video and the search term that YouTube used for you yeah I'd like to know so if you want post that in the comments thanks for hanging out and I hope you leave a comment I'm really curious and I hope you come back so hit me with a follow and a subscribe I'll talk to you later bye bye